Is your mocha pot coffee bitter and really hard to drink without sugar, or is it flavorless and unexciting? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make perfect mocha pot coffee every time. It's somewhere between drip and espresso in terms of strength, so it's really good for a pick-me-up on your way out to work in the morning. As with all brewing methods, you'll want to have freshly roasted coffee to get the best flavor out of the beans. I feel like I'm saying that every video, but it really is that important. Another important thing is to keep your mocha pot clean and keep it stored properly. So when you're storing it, just screw it up a little bit, not too much. Otherwise, you're going to degrade those rubber seals that stop the coffee from brewing out of the side. First thing you're going to need to do is grind it up. So you're going to need to grind it a little bit coarser than espresso, but quite a bit finer than you would for French press or for a drip coffee. Another trick is that you'll want to start with hot water and not cold. So actually boil your kettle and pour that into the bottom half of your mocha pot up to the little steam point here. If you start with cold water, then you're going to have to heat the mocha pot a lot more, which will mean more heat transfer directly to the beans. This could end up with a little more bitterness in the cup. When you hear that gurgling sound, it's time to take it off the heat. After taking it off the heat, cool your mocha pot under some cold running water. Some people like to have sugar in their coffee. It's up to you. I'm not going to be a coffee snob about it and tell you you can't have sugar, but I really recommend you try it without sugar first and try and get used to the flavors of the coffee by itself without having to add sugar to it. All right, I'll give it a try. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about mocha pot coffee or coffee in general, please put a comment down below and I'm gonna do my best to answer it.